Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. It's a really exciting vlog today actually because it is my birthday tomorrow. We already do have a little balloon there. Um, but we are actually going out for a cute little date night tonight. So we're going bowling and also going to the cinema. Um, we're going to like a really nice sort of like entertainment complex kind of thing. That's about half, well, about 20, 25 minute drive away from us. Um, and yeah, it's really, really lovely. And the cinema, um, I've never been before, but the cinema's kind of got like sofas and apparently it's really nice and quite sort of like small and quite intimate. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna go bowling then probably have some dinner and then watch the movie which is the new what's it called Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange one um, definitely more Simon's cup of tea than mine but you know I do enjoy the Marvel films as well and um, so yeah we're gonna do that tonight which is really exciting and then tomorrow not got much planned apart from going out for sort of like a family um like dinner kind of thing in a really nice pub um but yeah it's just going to sort of be a really nice chill vlog as well kind of you know a little bit of action later on but yeah i just wanted to kind of bring you along celebrating my 28th birthday but the plan of action today is basically we just need to go and go to the shop and um, just to pick up like a cake for me <laughs> uh, i said to zara and i was like um, have you got me a cake yet? He was like, no. I said, like, okay, well, I would like to choose my own cake if that's okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and do that. And um, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful weather, which is so, so nice. Um, I really do hope we kind of have the same weather for tomorrow as well, because last year it was like absolutely torrential rain on my birthday. And we kind of had like a sort of like people around and we had to like put a gazebo up and it was proper windy and quite cold uh, so yeah i'm looking forward to well hopefully hopefully it'll be nice weather which i'll be looking forward to um but i have treated myself to a little early birthday present um so i placed an order on space and k just a small one because i'm kind of wanting to try out sort of like um tinted moisturizers sort of like you know color correcting creams anything like that um for the wedding so i actually purchased this rose ink it is the skin enhanced luminous tinted serum i wanted this for so long and i got it in shade zero two zero so zero twenty um i really do hope that is like kind of the shade that's right for me i'll be really good to live not but um i'm hoping that i'll be able to take it back or send it back if it's not the right shade and sort of get the right shade for me because it's always so difficult to kind of you know when there's so many shades on offer it's difficult to find the right one especially online and then i also saw this on space and k which is the oh which is the rare beauty positive light tinted moisturizer so this is selena gomez's brand um but it was actually really affordable and i got that in the shade 20 w which looks like that so i think actually i think i'm sort of like on the right path there in terms of the shades for those two products so yeah i'm going to try these out sort of probably not today maybe i don't know actually um but yeah i'll show you on my instagram anyway the finished looks and i've also been really really good in sort of you know drinking a lot more fluids this week and um, so this is i've already drank all of that today and it's only one o'clock so yeah i am feeling very very happy with myself and um, just because yeah i just like i said in the last vlog i just kind of sort of started to feel really quite dehydrated especially going out on the friday last weekend and then kind of um being quite hungover on the saturday made me sort of like it just i mean it's showing my age really like 28 years old tomorrow it's like i can't deal with drinking alcohol and mixing my drinks anymore yeah so i am very much getting my way through this which is so so good hey hi have you missed us have you missed us have you <laughs> And we are back from the shops and um, we actually went into our local village and just kind of tried to find an alterations because basically we've got our wedding shirts that we kind of just want a little, you know, like just fit a little bit better. Um, they are really good quality and really good sort of wedding shirts, but yeah, they just need to sort of be like cinched in a little bit. Um, however, the alterations people weren't available 
on the weekend so we're going to go back in the week and hopefully get that sorted yeah and then we just went to tesco and bought the cake but you'll see that tomorrow is so big um and looks so yummy so yeah and we also bought a giant sweet jar so a few vlogs are back actually i actually oh god i just need to put this down yeah so a few vlogs back i actually bought um this sweet jar here which is kind of like a medium sized one but they only had one large large one wherever yes yeah, so they had one large one left in the shop and um, but we do actually have some sweet jars in the garage that we do need to sort of like clean and wipe down and stuff sort of like you know just assess the situation for the sweet station for our wedding so um that's probably what i'm going to do tomorrow because it is no, it's 25 to 3 and we do kind of have to leave in about three hours and I do need to get a vlog ready that you would have already seen last week. So yeah, I do need to get that ready, hang some washing out, you know, do like little bit, little bitty jobs kind of thing and um, clean the bathroom as well. I do want to do that. But first of all, um, because I haven't eaten today yet, I'm just going to have some fruit that needs eating up. So I've just got some like strawberries, some like pineapple chunks. Um, and some grapes as well so yeah nice fresh lunch before we go out tonight so we are on the way to um, bowling and also on, on the way to the cinema as well uh, yeah really really excited um, we've just been chilling out for the past like a couple of hours Simon had a nap um, so he's feeling a little bit groggy but yeah we're on the way and very excited to meet Simon because I'm so good at bowling I am let me feel your love again cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your hand I don't even know if you can understand Thank you, Eddie. Cinnamon roll for my birthday. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It is my birthday, yay. So we have had a really nice leisurely start to the day. I got woken up to a nice cinnamon roll, a little like kind of bowl of fruit, and um, yeah, a nice lovely cake that we purchased yesterday. Um, but we're actually gonna save that cake 
um, till later on, so when we go out tonight. So I'll get another happy birthday, hopefully. But before we go out for a nice, lovely, long dog walk, which um, just, yeah, just the perfect way to spend my birthday, um, I just wanted to give, kind of give you an update of yesterday, well, last night, basically. So, yes, I did actually win at bowling. I absolutely thrashed Simon, which he wasn't very happy with, but I mean, it is my birthday at the end of the day. Um, and then we went and had some food. I actually had a really nice sort of like goat's cheese mushroom burger. That was really, really nice. It was in kind of like the same um, entertainment complex. And then we just kind of, yeah, went to the cinema, got some popcorn. Um, and it's such a lovely cinema as well, because I've always been like, well, for a long time I've been like, oh, I don't really like, like cinemas because they're just kind of a lot, like, you know, you people chat, people on the phones, and it just ruins the whole experience. But this cinema is like, like a lot nicer. So, um, and there's like sofas, and you can take alcohol in there, you can take coffees in there, Ellie's whining. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can take, you can take coffees and any drinks in there. And I think maybe even you could probably take like a, a full on meal, maybe, I prob probably not, but uh, you can definitely take snacks in anyway. So yeah, it was a really nice, lovely cinema, kind of only like 30 seats per screen, which is kind of like really nice and intimate as well. So yeah, we watched Doctor Strange. To be honest with you, I didn't really rate it. It wasn't my favorite Marvel film, but Wanda is in the movie a lot, which, you know, is always a good thing because WandaVision was amazing but um yeah doctor strange that that movie not really a big fan of it unfortunately it was just a bit sort of far-fetched and and kind of it, yeah i feel like maybe they just ran out of ran out of a, a a plot to go with and just sort of started to make things up so yeah it was it was definitely a bit weird but i have just opened some cards and i actually just wanted to show you a card that um simon well ellie got me actually because it's it's really cute so here it says man's best friend um and it's got like pictures of like dog scenarios on there which is really cute because basically all of these scenarios apart from the one where um where they tune up all the letters is basically ellie she loves to sit on your lap she loves to basically howl birthday to me <laughs> this morning uh she rolls in fox boo she's demanding food all the time and then she loves squirrels um yeah she loves digging at the beach as well and she loves puddles and probably most probably like that one as well so that was a really lovely card and probably my favorite card this year but I actually got a really nice, lovely gift from my work friends, um, like a bottle of Prosecco, a bottle of, can um, a bottle of candle, a candle and um, a gift card. But we went out the other night and um, I didn't actually really expect it to be my birthday meal. I just thought it was going to be a catch up. But yeah, they had a balloon on the chair and um, there was a band playing in like the restaurant. And then like for some reason, I didn't even sort of expect it or anything, but they started playing the happy birthday song and I was kind of like, da 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 and um, and yeah, and then it was for me. Oh, sorry, my granddad just popped round to drop a card off. Um, but yeah, as you can hear probably Ellie is whining because uh, we are about to head in the car now and go on a really nice, um, yeah, long walk along the canal. And um, then yeah, I'm just going to do some a little bit of kind of. I want what I want to do today is clean the sweet jars out and just sort of get them ready, have a look at them, see what if we need to buy any more for the wedding, and um, yeah, just probably chill out and then have a nice meal this evening, which I'm very much looking forward to. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Fill my head with roses 
I do. We are back from a really lovely walk down the canal. It was so, so nice. And we discovered like this like little woodland area, as you would have seen. Um, yeah, it was honestly so beautiful and just the absolute perfect weather. Cause it's like not too hot and not too cold. It's just like the sun is out and just the flowers are blooming. It really is a really lovely day. So yeah, very, very happy that is a nice weather for my birthday. Um, but we are actually going out soon because we actually were we're out quite a while and um, Ellie's just had a bath because she did actually get so so muddy and um, so she's snoring her head off um, but I managed to get the um, sweet jars out of the garage they are a little bit dirty so I do want to give them a wash and um, yeah and just so they're sort of like ready for the next few weeks when we decide what we're going to put in them and um, I think I might actually buy another large one from Home Bargains um, just to kind of finish it off a little bit but I will show you now. So these are the sweet jars so all of these like here apart from this one obviously we got this one yesterday from Home Bargains um, but yeah all of these here these are actually my sisters um, and they're actually really good quality. Um, I do like this one obviously it's you know a bit sort of more less traditional than these um but obviously that that won't be on there that lid so yeah i really do like these um sweet jars but i do think maybe another big one like that and then obviously we have got our um sort of medium sized version in the cupboard that we'll probably use as well so there's quite a quite a good selection of jars there um that are going to be so so nice with loads of like different sweets some traditional sweets and and some sort of like sweets that are quite 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 personal to us that like are our favorites um and yeah and then those obviously like if you would have seen the last vlog we had these nice paper sweet bags i think it will just look really really special and really lovely especially with like foliage and greenery on the table yeah Think it'll be good but yeah i do need to wash them because they have been in the garage so they have gotten dirty lots of cobwebs on them and um, they just need a good wash out so i'll do that and then we'll be shortly heading off to the pub for my birthday meal I'm trying to not have the... Is it? Is it not in there? This is my birthday meal outfit. I've just got on this really nice um, tweed... Ellie! Just got on this really nice um, like cream tweed... Not tweed, uh, twill o overshirt um, that you've seen in another vlog. Just a plain white t-shirt and black jeans and a converse. Yeah, casual but comfy and nice. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. Good evening everybody. So it's actually half past eight and I am shattered. <laughs> so we got back from the meal which was so so lovely. It was just so nice to kind of you know get our like sort of immediate family together and um, yeah and just celebrate my birthday and just you know just all come together and talk about the wedding and and just have a really lovely catch up. But um, yeah I had a Sunday dinner like a vegan it was a vegan Wellington but then it was like roast dinner bits as well with Yorkshire pudding and cauliflower cheese and yeah it was just lovely and I had a few pink gin and lemonades and a glass of Prosecco as well but um and oh yeah two birthday cakes as well so overall I've had three birthday cakes and I feel like a fat pig <laughs> obviously I've not had all of them or anything like that but um i've actually developed a little blemish on my nose i feel like that's probably all of the excitement from this weekend but yeah i've had a really lovely weekend i'll probably carry on this vlog um sort of one day in the week or something like that because um simon has 
bought me a, a birthday present but it hasn't come yet so I'll show you that when it arrives and um, also I ordered a few clothes on ASOS um, that I'll probably just do a little try on haul to see if they're alright. Simon's given me the evils of why I've bought some but I told him that I was buying some. I did. I did. I did. Um, but yeah, I just, just got a few bottles of Prosecco, which is always, always, you know, great because I love Prosecco. Um, and yeah, I got a bottle of Whispering Angel from Simon's sister. Um, and I got a sort of a camry, camera battery as well, um, which will go into this camera. So I've always got like kind of like a fully charged battery on the go, which um, definitely needed, especially when I'm kind of like doing time lapses or, you know, doing cooking or anything like that. My camera batteries just seem to go down so quickly. But we're going to just chill for the rest of the evening now. I think we might watch um, an episode of Ozark because the last, the part two of season four has, has came out, um, I think on Friday, or was it last weekend i'm not too sure but um yeah so we've started to watch that again and it's so so good so yeah if you haven't watched ozark already absolutely 100 percent recommend it because it is really really good it's so dark and so gritty at the minute and um, so yeah i'm really looking forward to sort of how it plays out and i'm pretty sure this is the last season i think it is um so yeah we're definitely in for a lot of twist and turns in the part two of season four. Hello everybody, it is a couple of days later now and if you can hear pitter pattering on the floor, then that is Ellie, but also it is Alfie. Um, Alfie is Simon's mum's dog, who we are looking after for today. Um, but it is a lovely sunny day, which to be honest with you, it's actually chucking it down with rain this morning. So yeah, spring is such a weird season but I do love it and um, that is just British weather for you to, though to be honest with you um, but I wanted to jump on and show you my birthday present that Simon got me so I basically did know this because I sent him all the links to the products that I wanted um, but it's from a brand well basically it's from a sort of like a, a, a company that has different brands like you know like Desium with The Ordinary, with Hylamide, with Neod. Um, so yeah, basically it's a company that has different brands of skincare products and hair care products and yeah, just like, you know, all the essentials that we absolutely need. Um, and it's, yeah, I've never tried any of them before, um, but it is from Niche Beauty Lab. And actually, funny story is that on, I think it was on Friday, so the Friday just like the Friday before my birthday, they actually reached out to me over on Instagram. And when I saw the name pop up on my Instagram, I was like, oh my God, Simon is going to not be happy <laughs> because like he's literally just bought products for me from that brand. Um, but they are sending over different products, um, which I will also show you sometime. It might be on my skincare channel actually. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting more products from these different brands that I'm just so, so excited about. But I did want to show you what Simon actually got me for my birthday. So yeah, it's from the company Niche Beauty Lab. And basically they have different brands, just like Desium do, um, you know, in Canada. But we have got Transparent Lab. We've also got Hyla Lou Lip. We've got um, Ferramide, which is actually their new brand launch. Um, Ferramid or Ferramid, Ferramide. Um, they've also got a hair care brand and also they've also got like a acne brand as well, which is called Acne Me. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. But I have been absolutely like swooning over all of these products for such a long time now. And I just thought, oh, instead of me buying some, I'll just ask them, ask for them for my birthday. And Simon absolutely delivered on these. So the first one is the Transparent lab eye repair concentrate so this has got five percent niacinamide in there three percent vitamin c it's got three percent revitalized which i think is must be a patent ingredient and then we've got 0 0.1 percent retinol so that i'm pretty sure this is like a serum and the products from transparent lab are so incredibly affordable as well think like ordinary prices yeah they're just really really affordable um and then also from transparent lab we have got the Protect and Correct Serum. So this has got 5% resveratrol, 3% ferulic acid, 3% turmeric, and 2% ACE complex. 
I'm not too sure what the AC complex is. Is that just vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, probably. Um, so basically this is kind of like a really fantastic, really powerful antioxidant serum. Um, so think of like Neod Survival Zero, but kind of a little bit different and yeah, different take on it. So really looking forward to trying those two products from Transparent Lab out. Um, we've also got the new brand launch, which is Ferramad, Ferramad or Ferramid. <laughs> um, but basically this is their Ceramide treatment. So this contains 3% of Ceramide complex, 1% um, Ecotene and 1% Seeker as well. So apparently this is like the highest concentration of Ceramides in a serum available on the market. But don't count me to that because I don't know if they're, you know, if they're right in saying that. Um, but I am absolutely dying to open this and get this on my skin just for some barrier boosting properties and i also wanted something kind of like a very different hyaluronic acid serum so this is called their ha pca filler this has got um five percent sodium pca in there and also three percent hyaluronic acid but basically this is supposed to be kind of like give you the effects of using um filler in your skin or like I don't know, Botox or something like that. But also I wanted to try out their sort of like lip brand as well called Hia Lu Lip. Um, so this is their Hydro Plump Lip Argumentation product. And basically this is supposed to mimic the effects of lip filler. Obviously again, without being intrusive with needles. Yeah, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous and I kind of just want plumpy, smoother, softer and kissable lips for my wedding. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely gonna try these out um, over the next few days and uh, yeah, share my thoughts probably in the next vlog. So yeah, those are my birthday presents from Simon. So incredibly grateful um, and just really, really excited to get trying them out and then also to receive even more from the company. Um, whenever that comes. I think it's either today or tomorrow, um, but I'm gonna do like a like a full sort of like separate video on which you hopefully would have already seen. Um, but I actually ordered some clothes from ASOS as well, just to kind of, you know, I just wanted a little, like a few pairs of jeans because I only have one pair of jeans, one pair of jeans, jeans? One pair of jeans, that doesn't sound right, does it? Anyway, I only have one pair because my others, got holes in them and just worn them to death so yeah i did want to purchase a few more jeans and also a few more sweaters as well because i am just more of a jumper sweater person than i am a t-shirt person um so yeah i'll do a little try on with you in a minute um but the plan of action for today is basically we have got our videographer online zoom meeting tonight i'm not too sure what time it's at but yeah we're just going to go through ideas and sort of plans and order of the day so that'd be really nice to chat to them um and just yeah kind of like bounce off ideas and just get excited for the wedding in terms of like you know documenting it with a videographer and tonight for dinner i just want to do like a really healthy and fresh salad for dinner um that I, yeah, I just, I just need, I'm just like craving a salad, you know, like a really like fully loaded salad with cucumber, tomato, salad leaves, spring onion, all of the goodness. I want that tonight. So yeah, I'm going to make that with you as well. So first up is this really soft, like cozy sweater in this really nice navy, kind of like a washed out navy color. Um, but it says athletic club, it's all embroidered here. And it's kind of like got like a dusty pink color embroidery to it, which I actually really, really like. It kind of complements both colors together. Um, and then we've also got these jeans, which are really sort of like light, wash denim and um, with a slight bleaching at the front and they are also just in like a slim fit because i feel like skinny and sort of ultra skinny is too sort of restrictive it feels too tight and uncomfortable but these are really such a lovely like snug fit so they're quite sort of yeah the snug on around the bum and then quite sort of you know comfortable loose fitting on the bottom legs as well. So I am actually really impressed with these two new items of clothing. I do feel like this might, this sweatshirt might shrink a little bit in the wash. Um, it is from Jack and, Jack and Jones, um, but I thought it was really affordable and really nice colorways on this. And I think, you know, you can style this with 
these colored jeans, dark and navy jeans, or even a black jeans as well. He's a good girl. I know where the buzz. I'm trying to do a little outfit haul and you're being so cute. Yes, you are. So you'll just have to bear with me because, you know, I've got a little demanding princess in front of me. Um, and I don't have a mirror. My mirror, my big mirror is actually at my mum's. Um, but we have this really nice grey, light grey sweatshirt from Puma. Um, it's actually a little bit sort of oversized, kind of relaxed feel than the previous Jack and Jones um, navy sweater. But this just really, again, feels so comfortable, so soft um, and just snuggly. And then we've got these jeans that are kind of like a bit... And, you know slightly more washed out than the previous jeans but they've got this really lovely kind of like rigid um like distressed hem where it's kind of like fraying and um yeah the, the sort of like ankle length as well so these jeans really remind me of kind of like the um you know like the mom jeans or the boyfriend jeans um but yeah just really sort of like relaxed really nice and cool and um yeah, a little bit retro as well. So again, I'd probably pair these with Converse um, because I just feel like you can't go wrong with Converse and sweatshirt and light denim jeans, can you? <laughs> of course, these jeans need a little bit of an iron, so they are sitting a little bit funny. But again, good quality jeans, like I hate jeans that feel like stretchy leggings, jeggings kind of material, like there's just no sort of structure to it. Like I love a good sturdy pair of jeans, not too sturdy, where it feels like, you know, you're wearing plastic or, you know, some cardboard on your, on your legs, but, um, you know, you want your jeans to really be sturdy, to be strong and just to last a long time as well. Okay, and then last look, we have got this nice beigey cream, um, sweatshirt which has actually got crooked tongs on it. I don't know if it's the brand crooked tongs but they do have like this really nice um, sort of same coloured embroidery logo on there. Can you see that? Um, so yeah it I just I kind of just love this this logo here. I just yeah I just think it's really quite unique and interesting but very subtle as well. Um, and then we've got these like kind of darker jeans which are slim fit and these are as I was just saying you know you want your jeans to be really structured and you know and sturdy these are more stretchier and more kind of like yeah they're a lot thinner more more lightweight um, which I think would be perfect for you know warmer climates but I just I just feel like they, they're just too they're just too baggy on me like they're slim fit but I just feel like they're gathering a little bit here and yeah there's just they're just I just don't think these will last that long especially you know washing them and and just kind of you know wearing them out and about I just don't think that these would last too long and I feel like definitely a big waist size so this is a waist 32 which some jeans I am a 32 but then some jeans I'm a 30 so it is difficult but yeah, these are just a bit too stretchy for me, unfortunately. And I think the colour is just a bit too plain. Um, I sort of like a little bit more richness. And if I was going, if I was going to go for a navy, I'd probably go for like a Levi. You know that that staple Levi blue colour, um, with you know some bleaching on here, um, and just kind of a bit more of a contrasting stitch with it as well. Like I just feel like you know. I can't, I'm not really going to sort of wear these that much. So yeah, the jeans are definitely going to go back, but I do like this really sort of like oversized, relaxed kind of sweatshirt. And um, that would just be so great to just, you know, throw on, um, even like tie it around your shoulders, anything like that. I think that'd be really good.
Good evening everybody. So, um, a little bit of a change of plan this evening. So, the videographer has actually rescheduled for tomorrow, um, but I did actually make the lovely salad that I wanted. Oh my god, it was so big. I just made so much. Um, and I had like this, oh, the salmon. So, so yummy, but I feel as fat as butter right now. Um, but I've just been chilling out in the front living room just by myself. Simon is in the back watching um, some series. But yeah, I've just made myself a lovely cup of tea and um, I'm just catching up on some YouTube. So that is basically going to head and conclude today's vlog. I really do hope you have enjoyed sort of coming along with us celebrating my birthday weekend and a little bit today but i really do hope you have enjoyed today's vlog it's been really lovely bringing you along with us celebrating my birthday weekend and yeah thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate it so so much um but yeah if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up for me and i'll see you in the next one see you later Bye bye